What's going on YouTube? I'm Ajwa here, and uh, this is a repair video. Um, we have today a Game Boy Color. Um, when I put a game in here, let me put in some batteries. All right. Stick this guy closed. Stick in a game that probably works. We turn this guy on. Nothing. Zippo. So, let's figure out what's going on. I'm gonna pull the game out. Pull the batteries here. Actually, yeah, let's pull the batteries real quick. The first thing I usually take a look at is the switch. I haven't looked at this at all yet, so you're seeing it like I am. If I make mistakes, hey, we'll learn together. Um, let's see what's going on. I don't like this switch here. That switch is pretty dirty. So I'm gonna, let's just see what happens when I play with it a little bit slower here. I don't care if there's no game in it yet. Oh, I need the button. Let's throw in some batteries. Let's see if it's something with the switch here. I'm hearing some sound, oh, okay. That light just kind of turned on. Yep. I say we have a switch problem. There it goes. But when you let go of it, it turns off. Well, I say, oops, I say we put some deoxid in the switch and let's see if that clears it up. Ah, paper towels. Not easy to do with a camera right between your legs and the chair, but hey, we'll try. Okay. There we are. Let's add a little deoxid to it here. Oops, I'm bumping my camera. Oop. Okay, a little bit of deoxid in there. Work it in the switch. Work it up here. Let's work it. I could definitely hear it crunching. So, definitely, I'm just gonna. Definitely sounds. Like it's doing something. Okay, it's my first video, so I'm gonna make a lot of crappy mistakes with, uh, you know, putting, making sure things are on camera and stuff. But I'll get better as I go. Yes, more videos are coming. I have a lot of handheld electronics, consoles, good stuff. So hey, we'll learn together. Okay, let's see if this fixes the problem. Oh, I did get a bad. Super Mario Land 2. Aha! There we go. It's just the switch. Maybe. Looks like we got some dirty buttons. It is doing nothing. There, I'll make sure you can see. Yep. Buttons. I got nothing. So we still got some issues. Oh. Oh, it's the demo. I was like, what, did I push him? Okay, all right. So that's part one. That's nice. Good old deoxid. Clean that baby up. All right, let's go a little deeper. Oh, oh, that's a long screw. Okay, pop these tabs out. Boop, and boop. Now you can pull through the buttons. You can pull the nice real ribbon cable out very carefully. There we go. All right, let's take a look at the other side of the board. Yeah, you can definitely see some, um, yeah, there's definitely been some, there's some dirt, some grime, some nastiness here. And I think in the Mario game, you have to press the start button to be able to move Mario and select a file. So it may not be that all these buttons but, um, are, are faulty, but you can definitely see there's some griminess here. So I'm going to take, while I have the opportunity, I'm going to take everything to the sink, um, just the case parts, and uh, give them a good clean. Um, this actually is in pretty good condition. 
I don't know if there's much I need to do. I don't think this is the original cover though, because uh, usually it has the, uh, the sticker on here with the uh, serial number and everything. But uh, it still looks great. I wouldn't be able to tell. But I'm gonna clean these guys and I'm gonna add some isopropyl alcohol to these pads. And let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, so this guy's been, well, didn't really give it much of a clean. Uh, I took this plate off. I uh, took the battery terminals out, which is immaculate, very clean. Gave this guy a clean in the sink and put everything back on. But I want to clean those contacts. Overall, looking at this board, it is in very good shape. A little bit of maybe leftover flux down there, but the speaker looks okay. It made a nice loud ding when I turned it on, but I might just give it a clean nonetheless, give it a once over. But I don't see anything else. The, the capacitors look good. Um, battery terminal over here is good. They read the game, so I wasn't concerned about that. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, give the buttons a clean. Use 99% alcohol, rubbing alcohol, if you can find it. I know some, uh, I know some counties in some states they do not sell by, I guess by law, 99% uh, rubbing alcohol. I don't know why. It's not like you can, well, I guess you could, but that's not good for you. I guess you could drink it, but that's, okay. And let's just give this guy a good clean here. Make sure I got this on camera. And... Yeah, there's a little bit of dirt coming off. I don't think these buttons are the problem. You can definitely tell right there that that is a problem. Problem child. Yeah. Not nasty. I'm still doing them all. Give it a clean. Yeah, there was some nastiness on there. Come on, let's focus on my nastiness. Okay, um, let's clean the actual pads. I know some people suggest that they take a piece of paper and they scrape a little bit off. I want to do a less aggressive method first and then resort to that. So I'm just gonna clean them with some rubbing alcohol here. I don't think that's necessary unless it gets really bad. Just give that a clean here. Oh yeah, there's where we're getting the dirt. That is definitely dirty. So, this is, I would understand, so I got this on eBay. I, wonder, I would understand if you know, someone sold it because it, I mean, it's in great condition that it stopped working. So it's not like they know that they spilled something in it or I don't see any liquid damage. They probably just thought, oh, no, well, it's a dead console now. So, you know, might as well just sell it. Uh, so I guess that's understandable, but. It's amazing just how little bit of a clean this takes, and I bet you this will be working again. Uh, these buttons are already clean, they look good, and then start and select, those are the nasty ones. So, nice. Okay. Now the order of which start and select go in doesn't matter, but you do want your A and B buttons to matter, because A Can't put them in uh, wrong anyway. There we go. Yeehaw! Okay. Let's put this. I don't think. Oh yeah, it's got a little tab in there, so you can't put it in any other direction. It's wiggling on the table. That's wiggling on the tripod. Oh, my apologies. There we go. Lock. Lock. LCD's back in. Oh, speaker's on. There we are. There. Much better. Okay. Not gonna screen anything in yet, but let's give it a shot and see what we got here. It's now off. Up, see what we got. 
Switch still works great. It's reading the game just fine. Look at that. Fixed. There you are. I call this a success. And actually, I don't know, that was kind of boring, wasn't it? I wanted to get into my tools and, uh, you know, start soldering, desoldering, and good stuff. But hey, you know, uh, I have much more uh, equipment uh, here, and uh, I got a weekend to film. Uh, I'm on call at work, so I'm not going anywhere. Anyway, I uh, hope that this is a good first video. I'm sure it'll be really interesting to hear myself when I edit it, which kind of sucks. Yeah, editing uh, the video was quite interesting. I cut a lot of crap because uh, me, but it's not bad for my first video. But anyway, I thought this Game Boy was quite a cakewalk. All I did was clean some buttons and you know the little switch. That was kind of boring, kind of easy. What about some Game Boy Advances? These things are nasty. But that's next time. So. Subscribe, like, and uh, this will be up soon.